Yo, what's poppin' peoples? It's Eclipse from Team Ruthless back in the house. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys about something. Uh, actually, it's a question that my, my girl always asks me. And it's, she's always asking me, why do I play video games? Why would I prefer video games over TV and movies and things of like that? And I'm, for me, it's, it's feeling connected to the characters. There's something about being behind the controller. And it, uh, there's just something about being Joel in The Last of Us and saving Ellie at the end of the game where you built all this story and you've learned so much about Joel, Ellie, in the world between the beginning of that game and the end of that game. And now you have to, well, <laughs> technically the decision's made for you, but now you have to save Ellie, even though you know it's not right. There's something about facing Sephiroth with Cloud after finding out everything that's really happened in the story and why things are that way and why Sephiroth's running around and why Cloud is is the way he is. Uh, there's something about, you know, playing Red Dead Redemption when, spoiler alert, if y'all haven't played it, where Arthur's sick and why he feels like he has to do this and, and, and you just feel connected. You feel like just as much as these characters show that they have to do something you feel that too you feel like you have to do this you have to beat this game there's just something about the, the, oh especially with, with great games man there's just something about it that captures you and you you live out this story and it feels like you're you're part of this universe because you're making these choices and, and you're making these decisions and changing the little things along the way that may not mean nothing or to 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 the story but it might mean a lot to you and somehow somebody else who could be playing the same game as you could have a totally different experience not only that and those are all like single player like my experience but the, there's more than that there's experiences with these communities and these people i've met that are real people these these players that i have beaten these players that i have worked with to beat things that we th thought were too hard um, and just the communities in general, the, the gaming communities in general that I've met in real life and on the internet. Before social media, I was meeting friends through the internet on in video games. Before I was making friends through social media on the internet, I met people through Call of Duty, Black Ops, and Modern Warfare before I met people through Facebook and Twitter and all this other stuff. They're just worlds on worlds that are in real life and in these video games that just con I feel it's way more connected and there's way more almost a realness to it compared to television and, and TV shows where it's kind of just the same actors doing the same thing and and I'm not bashing on this I just to those who can't relate to that I just feel like like when watching Endgame and that final scene where you know all the Avengers just showed up and Captain America had Thor's hammer and you know they all lined up side by side and how everybody was on the edge of their seats and waiting for it to pop off like this is what we've been waiting for this is what we've been waiting this many years for all these movies we watched this is what we were waiting for it's like that for video games it's just, for me it's the same feeling it's like all the all these stories and just over and over again it, it's just I don't even know how to, that's the best I can do to explain it. Like, and I, you guys tell me what you think. Like, what do you guys know? Like, why do y'all play video games? Why would y'all pick that? It's again with the on in these online communities. It's meeting these people that have the same passion as me, that play these video games just as hard as me, and and enjoy these stories just as much as I do, or even more so, or even giving me other looks on how how some stories are or some characters are that I didn't even catch. It's just, it's amazing. Video games uh, have, have meant a lot to me in my life. And they've helped me get through things that, hard times in my life. And some great times in my life also. And they, they created dope, unforgettable moments. And I've created dope and great friendships through them. And I just want to say I love you guys. I know... A lot of people are down from the news we received yesterday about Etika, and I don't know much about it, but I, uh, I'm praying for everybody involved and his friends, 
and we got to take care of each other people got to take care of ourselves let's take care of each other i love you guys shout out to team ruthless i've been talking to you guys for years and i don't know why but this was eating me up yesterday maybe because it was all over my timeline but um yeah that's all i really had to say but you guys let me know what y'all think about this video games and and do y'all feel the same way or is it just me am i taking it too serious or what but uh <laughs> hopefully my girl watches this and maybe she'll maybe understand through what i'm feeling about video games and when she asks me she won't be so quick to